Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Hughes, I am the Lord of Leisure and welcome to another Aftermath video. A video where basically I come out after watching a film and then say stuff to camera just for initial impressions. You know, that type of thing. Um, today I've just come out of watching Atomic Blonde with Charlie Theron and James McAvoy and quite a number of other stars too, uh, to tell the truth. John Goodman, Toby Jones and, well, the list could go on, but I can't remember everyone else. So, uh, suffice to say, uh, this was a <laughs> over-the-top, violent comic book film uh, about a blonde lady called Lorraine, who apparently is a British spy sent to Berlin to uh, fix some fuck-ups about a list that contains everyone's spy name, real name, and all the rest of it for every agent in the world ever, because why not? Um, James McAvoy is a contact there, uh, although he's a slight fuck up, and in essence, they go around various neon lit places, um, there's some extra spies along the way, the KGB and the Russians obviously uh, are trying to get hold of this list as well, various lies, treachery and deceit, and in the end, a twist that even I didn't see coming uh, exactly. So yeah, truth be told, it was it was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous at times, especially with the fight scenes, the extended. You know, Family Guy, where Peter Griffin is fighting the chicken for what seems like seven or eight years. Well, there's definitely that in this film, uh, seriously. And they're, they're all knackered as well. It is. I couldn't help myself. I started laughing at how absurd it was becoming. But you know what? It's harmless enough. It's, it's stupid entertainment. And I loved it. I absolutely did. Um, <laughs> Charlie's Ferron, you know, does a fairly good British accent, to be fair, most of the time when she needs to. Um, James McAvoy, uh, his introduction uh, and the way you know, the, the the backdrop of this being 1989, where this is set and it's the, around the fall of the Berlin Wall as well, gave it a nice, you know, difference. The soundtrack was a, a good uh, selection of 80 songs and, and so on. So yeah, you, you're gonna like this, uh, if nothing else, for that aspect. And yeah, the, the, the way that they try and work around plans, that wasn't part of the plan. No, it was part of my plan. But was it not part of my plan as well? No, it was part of your plan. Plan, 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 plan. Um, pretty, pretty good. And actually, John Goodman, a uh, bit of a shout out for him uh, as well. Uh, to be perfectly honest, he was, he was very good, surprisingly. And I tell you what, is He's really lost a lot of weight, seriously. The man used to be huge, didn't he? Now he's looking buff. Maybe it's something for all of us to aspire to, he says, you know. <laughs> but um, no, it, I have to be honest, this, were, this was girl power at its finest, over the top ridiculous. Um, and, there, and there is a, le a lesbian scene as well, for those of you who like girl on girl. <laughs> to be fair, the French spy is quite hot, so I, I do understand. I mean, to be honest, you know, yeah, yeah, I would. But, uh, <laughs> so that's my, yeah, that's my aftermath. Yeah, the French uh, spy was hot. But uh, suffice to say, simple little uh, story. It's done through flashbacks and everything else. Um, but again, there's a few surprises along the way, despite the fact everyone's betraying each other and all the rest of it. I still really much enjoyed Atomic Blonde. I mean, don't get me wrong, not Shakespeare or anything else, incredibly stylized. I mean, there were bits that were neon all over the place, including the hotel room that uh, Charlie's Theron was staying in. It was just ridiculous, yet it worked. And it's clearly, you know, its comic book origin is, yeah, definitely, it, can, it can't not be apparent to anyone who goes in and, and watches it. But Atomic Blonde, it's out now at the cinemas. Um, I would actually say, yes, it is worth a look. 
uh, as and when you can. But it is going to be ridiculous over the top stuff, so don't expect actual fry, uh, you know, spy thriller shenanigans and dilly dallying like you will get in The Kingsman, because that's a proper spy film, apparently. <laughs> Can't wait for that in September. But anyway, campers, that's it. Atomic Blonde. Definitely worth keeping an eye on her. There you go, you see, here's puns, pun, pun, puns. Uh, so that's it from me here at West Laugh. I'm going to go home now and cry. Um, but until next time, campers, take it easy, and I'll see you all again here, standing probably over West Life, saying some more stuff on video. But until then, bye!